So the honey is just about off now. Well, the heavy honey is off. Now we're just on the drags. Uh, the drags. I'm probably just gonna set it out to the side, let it get robbed out because I'm losing my school kids by the end of the week. Although they wanna come back and work instead of go to school. I'm not gonna stop them. It's not up to me, it's up to their parents. At any rate, we're coming to the end and my focus is starting to shift from, you know, this intensive honey harvest now to the uh, maintenance of my colonies and building out this nest and, you know, the dreaded mite control. I've been taking washes throughout here, there and everywhere. I am finding mites, but to the degree of, let's say, three, two or three for probably a sample size of well over a thousand bees. What do you make of that? And I know the little buggers are there. Well, it's sh as shown, but not at any degree, hardly measurable. Ah, but they're there, they're under the cappings, and the question is, what is the infestation? I have a game plan at hand, and I'm on step five of my seven-step plan right now. And to follow through, as I did last year, back in this program, it's going to work. And it, from what I'm seeing, it is working. But I need to know the infestation the actual infestation without being caught by surprise because right now is the time that I need if I have to take evasive measures now is the time I have to start dropping bombs but I don't want to drop the bombs unless I have to because they are in just absolute spectacular shape these little nests are building I'm locking it in I mean I'm still having a well-developed active brood nest and we're you know entering into September which equates to a successful winter with the caveat of mites. So my shakes aren't showing any mites, so what do I do? Relax and just wait for them to show up? Or do I dig deeper, drop a bomb, and see what's actually going on? And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm talking to a beekeeper online, and that's exactly what he does. He's telling me he goes through, like he's a big beekeeper, he's 8,000 colonies, maybe even 10,000, I'm not even sure. He's a blowhard and he's a dick, but he's honest and he'll tell you straight. And he goes through and he absolutely, he pretty much kills off 100 colonies within his, within his operation just to be able to find the infestation within the nest to give him a degree of you know, might level and to help him decide if he has to go in invasive action or if, if what he's doing is working. So that's basically what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to tread the water on it. I've never done this before, but I'm going to take some formic that I have sitting around and I'm going to progressively drop two strips onto, I'm going to pick two queen rate colonies here, these two here the guinea pigs and uh, just monitor the drop might drop after these two are spent after about three or four days I'm going to drop another two and I'm going to drop another two and I'm going to try to do this for about a week or maybe 10 days catch a bunch of the cappings I'm going to kill off the brood I know that maybe even the queen but I just want to count the mites that are within the nest so I know if my washes are telling me accurate information or not. Oh, this is a VSH. Oh, I don't want to kill off my VSH. Kill off this is an Italian. Nest. 
Oh, what a beautiful nest. Gotta get into this nest. What an absolute spectacular nest. Look at the emerging brood here. A little bit of backfilling of syrup. And on this side of the frame is absolutely packed full of developed larvae, which I'm about to kill. What a shame. All in the name of science. So that's shaking a zero. If I had any type of phoretic infestation, that'd be showing there's probably 150, maybe 200 bees there. Not showing anything. So I'll come back um, in about, let's say three days, and I'll drop another two pads on there. I'll count for mites on the bottom. Another three days, I'll drop another two pads. Another three days, another two pads. And I'll just keep doing that until I find a mite count. Until I don't see a whole lot of cat brood anymore. And use this as the start of maybe incorporating a metric of purging the nest to get an accurate late summer mite count because these are just not giving me enough information right now for when I need to make a decision on what type of treatment to do and how you know extensive I need to be with it
Thank you, Blake Hardy, for painting a picture for me.